One of the events that many people in Kelloland have grown used to taking part in this time of year is the annual Mall Walk for Lifescape. Only the past two years, COVID has thrown a wrench in plans for the event, leaving organizers to pivot and get creative in order to keep this key fundraiser doing just that, raising money for a very worthy cause. We're being joined by Julie Game, the Director of Communications with Lifescape, and Deanna Kruger, who is the President of Lifescape Ambassadors Group. They're joining us today to tell us more about how the Mall Walk is going virtual for the second year in a row and how you can help make wishes possible for children and adults at Lifescape. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Yes, of course. Julie, tell me all about Lifescape, the Mall Walk. This is the 28th year. Right. We started in 1994, and we, over the years, have raised a million and a half dollars through Mall Walk to fund wish list grants for children and adults supported by Lifescape. And what that means is uh, the life, the ambassadors grant needs that are not funded by any other um, funding channel. So that means therapy equipment, um, educational supplies and curriculum, uh, medical supplies, and for adults, sometimes it's as basic as rent and food support. So 100% of the money donated uh, for Mall Walk goes directly to impact children and adults supported by Lifescape. And what happens during this mall walk and this event? I know that it has changed, but tell us how it first started and what it does look like today because of the pandemic. Well, it has been at the Empire Mall since 1994, and it started with just a handful of people that year, and it has grown every year, and we had up to 1,000 people at the mall up until uh, the last live mall walk was in 2020. And uh, we had mascots there, and we had teams that dressed up. We had Spider-Man and Batman and Star Wars characters and Disney princesses and Ghostbusters and um, families that we support. It's a highlight for a lot of the people we support to come out to that event at the mall. In the last two years, because of COVID, to keep everybody safe, we've um, gone to an online version at lifescapemallwalk.org. Let's go through the details now so that people can mark their calendars if they want to get involved. And even though it does look a little bit different, hopefully by next year it can go back to being at the mall. But For sure. when is this all happening? So people can jump on lifescapemallwalk.org right now and make a contribution, start a team, join a team. But then at 11 a.m., on Saturday, February 5th, um, you can tune in to lifescapemallwalk.org or Lifescape's main Facebook page and watch the cyber event live. All right. Well, Deanna, I want to talk about the gift with a $30 donation. Yes. For any $30 donation, you will be receiving a Mall Walk beanie. Very nice, warm beanie. Um, so hopefully on the day of the event, if you are choosing to join us live or virtually, you will see us wearing these and you can be wearing them out on your walks as well. And the wish grants, I mean, a big part of this, what does this really make possible for Lifescape? The wish grants really benefit all the kids, the adults, uh, like Julie was saying, some of the equipment and things that they don't get through other avenues, we are there to be able to support that. Uh, be able to bring those gifts, those instruments, whether it's maybe curriculum for education to them. And when it comes to being an ambassador, what is your role? And this is the 70th year, so you guys are celebrating big too. It is a big year for us. Really, an ambassador role is we get together monthly, um, usually over a lunch hour, the third Monday of every month. And we just get together and talk about what gifts are needed, what things can we do to also support Lifescape, all the different facilities, whether it's children, women, adults, and just come together to support each other that way. And what inspired you to become an ambassador and get involved? For me personally, it was through friends that had introduced me to it, and Kim Heyer and Rachel Cantania. And really, I just like to help and support those, those people that they don't have the choices. They don't have the options, and they need the equipment, they need to have people talking and helping them. And Julie, with ambassadors like Deanna, I mean, 
How are they such a big asset to LifeScape? It's impossible to imagine what LifeScape would be without the ambassadors. The support they provide for those extras is what um, provides real quality of life for people. It allows children to reach their full potential through therapy and education services where we can provide those extras. And for adults, it means better quality of life for them. If they're struggling to make ends meet, to, to pay their rent, or to even buy groceries, the ambassadors are there to help. And so we make a direct impact, and we would love to have new members. I was going to say, how does someone become an ambassador? You can uh, email us at um, ambassadors at lifescapesd.org, and we will get you hooked up. And how many hours should someone plan to you know, be putting into this as far as if you are an ambassador? You know, really, that's your personal choice. We don't require you to do any amount of required hours or time. We ask that you would join to the um, ambassador luncheons on once a month. But again, it's really when we have these events is when we ask for help. Uh, we have this one and then we do have another one in the fall, which is one autumn night. Those are our two biggest fundraisers. Um, but really, it's really your what time you want to give. And when it comes to this mall walk too, Julie, Getting people involved and raising these funds, the difference that it makes for LifeScape, do you have any specific goal for this year to reach through this event? We have shot for $100,000 um, each year, and or the, in the past several years, and we've made that goal and a little beyond some years. The cyber event uh, online has made it a little more challenging. We made um, not quite $86,000 last year. Um, and we, you know, we're going to shoot for 100,000 again and see how we'll shoot for the moon and see how we do. Do you think going virtual helps as well in a sense because you can get a lot more people involved even if they don't live here and couldn't necessarily participate in the actual mall walk? In some ways, absolutely. Yeah, it's fun to get together. There's that energy there that is, you can't beat that. But the online event pulls in people anywhere from the country, really. And uh, we have team. We have a team in Sioux City, and um, because we have a clinic in Sioux City, we have a clinic in Rapid City, and they they benefit as well. So we are hoping that this online version reaches people to help them understand the impact and how far that how far the reach is, and that they'll get involved too. Well, what an amazing event! Thank you, ladies, so much for joining me here today. To tell us all about it. Thank you. Thank you.